Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I've been experimenting with this relay module. It has four mechanical relays on it and uh, four surface mount LEDs that light up indicating when the relay is activated. It didn't come with any documentation though. Would have been nice to have some documentation. It does seem straightforward. It has this male header here and it's uh, labeled VCC and there's in one, in two, in three, in four and then a ground connection and there's a jumper here looks like that's for VCC you have to have that jumper on and uh, it has a terminal block on the other side here to make your connections to the relays so you have a center or a common and one side is normally open and the other side is normally closed so it seems to be pretty nice quality it's pretty thick PC board you can see the other side here where the relay and the header pins come through and it has a lot of surface mount components also this is where you really can start to use the power of a microcontroller uh, instead of just controlling LEDs on and off uh, you can start controlling some pretty uh, powerful appliances or motors um, or just large current and large voltage devices we can zoom in here take a look at uh, some of the specs on these relays so you can see the specs right here on the relay itself there are two for AC and two for DC and they have a C here so this says it's form C I downloaded the specs uh, off the internet We'll take a look at those. So here's the device here. So you can see here they have a block diagram. Uh, you've got three contacts that are brought out to the terminal block. So you have the center and then you have the two and one is normally closed and the other side is normally open and then when you activate uh, this coil in here it throws this relay and closes the normally open uh, side so now you have the contact between these two and then this one is now open and we have uh, 7 amps at 28 volts DC 10 amps at 125 volts AC or 7 amps at 240 volts AC now I don't know exactly about this inductive load they have 3 amps at uh, 120 volts AC or 3 amps at 28 volts AC uh, if anyone uh, has more information on that you know leave uh, that information in one of the comments but I'm not certain uh, what distinguishes this contact capacity from the inductive load specs so essentially those three contacts like I said are brought out to the terminal blocks and you've got a normally closed between two contacts and then the other two contacts are normally open and then when the relay is energized uh, this switches over and closes the normally open and opens the normally closed so I was thinking about how to go about exercising these relays and then I thought about that Knight Rider sketch where uh, we use the shift register to scan the LEDs and what we did is we created an array uh, with decimal numbers but the equivalent binary uh, would light up the LED in the right sequence as we uh, step through the elements in this array but uh, in this case I only have the four relays I don't have uh, instead of the uh, eight LEDs so I just cut down all these elements down to uh, one two four and eight and then we were not going to step through 14 elements uh, anymore that was just going to be uh, four elements so I just changed that and loaded the program so I loaded the sketch and this is what I ended up with and I immediately noticed I have a problem I have three relays on at a time so I scratched my head for a second and then it dawned on me that I can't just use uh, an abbreviated version of that Knight Rider sketch 
and this is the reason. Let me show you on the uh, whiteboard here. So this worked with the LEDs because the output of the shift register is hooked up to the anode of the LED so when it produces a logic high or plus 5 volts it turns on the LED but the relays on that relay module are active low so wherever there was a zero it would turn on the relay and wherever there's a one that relay is off. So the first thing that came to mind to solve that problem was to put a hex inverter uh, on the outputs of the shift register to invert the signal. So here I have a 7404. So if we turn this on again, you can see I have three relays on at any given time and one off. So now what I want to do is go from the output of the shift register into the into four inverters on this 7404. So let me connect these wires up. So this is the A output on the shift register and this is the first inverter output right there. Uh, this is the B output on the shift register and this is the second inverter output right here. This is the C output from the shift register and that goes to the third inverter there and the fourth inverter output here is pin 8. So let me turn that on again. And you can see now that I've inverted the signals. I have one relay going on at a time. So I was feeling pretty good about this solution and then it dawned on me that there's a software solution. You don't need to include the 7404 hex inverters. Let me show you why. So the original elements in the array 1, 2, 4, and 8 work great when you want to turn on the LEDs but because the relays are active low, three relays at a time get turned on. So all you need to do is change that so the numbers are now 14, 13, 11, and 7 and their binary equivalent ends up having ones in these positions and only a zero one at a time. So you have the three relays off at a time and only one on at a time. And that was the software solution that would have saved a lot of time. So I just added or changed the sketch. So the elements are now 14, 13, 11 and 7. So I've already loaded the new sketch but you'll see we're right back to square one because um, I have the inverter now. So we have the correct logic levels coming out of the shift register but I'm inverting them so we're back to the problem we had with the first sketch where we have three relays on at a time. So now I can do without the hex inverter chip. Let me turn this off and put the wires back to where they were. So let's see, this one went here, that's C. So I have the 7404 out of the circuit and I have the wires going directly to the shift register. I've got the new sketch in with the new elements. And let's turn this on. So you can see now I have one relay being turned on at a time instead of three. So that's the software solution. So that shows you how you can use the Arduino to control relays and how sometimes a problem can have both a hardware and a software solution. In this case the software solution obviously was a lot easier. So I hope you found this video interesting. 
Please subscribe, like, and or comment. And thanks for watching. Oh, look at that. At first I thought I had a problem, then I realized I bet this 9-volt uh, battery is running low. It's a rechargeable in here, and it just has enough to now just change the LEDs, but not enough to activate the relays.